This time, I've come to one of my favourite places in the world. Now, I know I'm given to hyperbole, but this time, you can trust me, I promise. Because my mum was born just over there, in the shadow of the mist-shrouded mountains of Snowdonia. This is Gwyneth in North Wales, one of the world's most beautiful and special places. My family have lived there for centuries, but I have more than just ancestral reasons to love this place, because there is also the most spectacular history here. Not least, world heritage sites like this Harlech Castle. One of the most imposing, impressive and beautiful castles built anywhere in Europe at this time in the late 13th century. Now this castle has been besieged many times, but three of those sieges have gone down as three of the most epic sieges in the whole of British history. Like all the greatest castles, the geography of Harlech is central to its identity. It's on something called the Harlech Dome, which is a spur of rock 200 feet high, surrounded by the sea. Down there, that flat land there was sea in medieval times, so it's an incredibly powerful position. It could be reinforced by sea, so it was a strong point looking towards these Welsh mountains, a bastion of English power. And then we come in through here to the gatehouse, one of the most remarkable gatehouses. It was palatial, it was actually with the royal apartments up there, but down here was a killing field. You came through one portcullis, heavy door, another portcullis, heavy doors, arrow loops here, so this whole area could be turned into a, a deadly area of crossfire, people throwing projectiles down on you from above. Through the rest of the gatehouse, more gates, and out into the inner ward of the castle, its heart. You get a sense of the gatehouse from the back looks very different from the front because here you can see big windows, palatial rooms. This was designed to house a royal court and we know that the kings of England came here. We also know that the last Prince of Wales, Owen Glyndwr, who led much of Wales in a, a battle against Henry IV, he held court, he had a parliament here. So you're looking here at a military but also an official and residential building as well. Then you come around here and look out over the Irish Sea. And this was central to the castle because it was from the sea that this castle was going to be sustained during its great sieges. That's the sea out there. It used to come all the way to these buildings down here. So this fortress could be resupplied from the sea, well, effectively indefinitely, but either from the Plantagenet lands in Ireland, from Cornwall in South Wales that way, or from Lancashire and Cheshire just around and out to the right, to the north over there. And that acts, the, the strength of this castle and its ability to be resupplied from the sea made sure that it could survive some of the longest, most epic sieges in British history.